Hello and welcome to a new video. So, I well, I just finished up a kickstand session, but now I have a sitter session, and um, I'm gonna set up for a little boy. So one of the questions that uh, people ask me, okay, awkward. Um, so one of the questions that people ask me the most is, what kind of backdrop do you use? Uh, what are the dimensions of your backdrop? Um, well, what works for me because I am in a small studio. My backdrops are two meters wide and three or four meters long. This creamy colored one I use for all my cake smashes uh, is four meters long, which is too long for a normal cake smash. But then I can also like have it all the way up and use it during a maternity session. It'll run into the floor. Uh, when I have like a newborn session, I can have it all the way up to the ceiling. I can do family photos in front of the backdrop. Uh, but it's also running into the floor, so I can do sibling photos there as well. Um, so this creamy colored backdrop is my go-to backdrop for most sessions. It is from um, studiobackdrops.eu. So two meters long, two meters wide, four meters long. If you live in a world where people measure in feet, use Google. Um, so now I'm going to throw on, well, with this backdrop we're going to use later during the sitter session, but now I'm going to throw on a mint green backdrop also from Studio Backdrops, uh, but that one is three meters long. So it wouldn't be long enough for like a maternity session, a person standing and then it running into the floor. Well, it would run into the floor, but just a little bit, and I wanna have a little bit more distance between the person I'm photographing and the backdrop, so it would be too short. But for a session, cake smash session, it would be okay. Um, then I have a dark blue backdrop. That one is actually longer, four meters long, I think. They're all two meters wide. And then I'm going to go to my dark wooden backdrop, or like not in that order probably, but um, I'm going to measure up how wide the dark wooden backdrop is and how long and stuff. Because people ask me all the time and I don't know. You can count the amount of um, pieces of wood and then kind of like figure it out yourself, but I'll measure it up for you. So first let's throw on a mint green backdrop. Okay, so I have my bar still on pretty high. It's up till my hand. Well, you can almost see it. One second. So I am one meter 77. If I have my hands up in the air, that's how high I have my rod. I might lower it a little bit because the mint green backdrop is shorter, but I'm also using a mint green, green flocati on the floor, which will extend the backdrop. So then it is um, long enough. But anyway, I'm just gonna clip it on there. Um, I use two metal clips in the top uh, to secure the backdrop and then now I have two other clips to secure the second backdrop and I can just take those two clips off and I'm changing backdrops and leave the creamy white backdrop on there. So normally it goes so smooth when I put it on and now that you're watching, I'm like wrinkling the backdrop. Okay. And it's all the way that way. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. So I think this is backdrop 1772, says on there. This would be too short. Um, so, and it's like, so I'm actually gonna maybe lower my bar a little bit more. Um, it doesn't have to, because I do have my flow cutting. I'll just do it a little bit, just a little bit. Also, because I don't do family shoots, shots during a kick smash or sitter session. So yeah, the backdrops are really only for the baby. I actually have like a tunnel here in the bottom of the backdrop, the green one. But I'm not putting the bar through it because it's just too much hassle for me. And I don't know why it's this way, like the tunnel is there and the top is there. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to put some weights on there so it won't roll back, even though it doesn't really roll back because I'm going to put a flocati on there. The baby who's coming today, he is nine months old, so he can sit by himself unsupported. That's what his mom uh, let me know. So he can just sit like on a little blanket. I think that would be super cute, but he can also sit in a prop on a prop. He can lie on his tummy, lie on his back. So cute. First decor ready. Okay. So we're still into the Christmas mood spirit, but just like subtle Christmas. So I have a little tree and a hat and yep. Yeah. Uh, so let's measure up this uh, backdrop. 
Oh yeah, and if the baby is like crawling a lot and just very active, I'll have some more props for him to sit in. If he's just very chill, calm, just sitting, not you know, on his tummy, just lying, then maybe uh, less props to keep him in one spot. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Lots of people have been asking for many years now. Um, what are the okay? I'm very good with this. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. How wide is your backdrop? one meter and 34 centimeters let me give you a close-up so here you go perfect one meter and 34 centimeters now how long is my backdrop or like how high because it's pretty much the same um because we just bought i have a video on how i made this backdrop like how i stained it dark because uh, it was just like a cheap type of wood but anyway so um we just bought like this long piece of wood and then put them in half so how long deep whatever is this backdrop that is one meter and 25 on oh, 24 and a half 24 and okay one meter and 25 centimeter then it's also how high it is yeah, should be the same. One meter, 25 centimeter. So there you go. Mystery solved. Now, of course, you have the answer to all your questions. Keep on watching because I'm going to show you some behind the scenes clips, final images, camera settings, and of course, the other backdrops that we're using. So, uh, yeah, this is for now. And we have some really cute outfits. I'm going to change the name on the sign. Uh, but yeah, we have these really, which I love, these like chunky knitted sweaters really autumn winter vibe and then of course we've got all these other super cute outfits here for the mom to choose from and uh hats and stuff and yeah enough to choose from So we just finished a super cute uh, active baby. He was so active that even the curved wooden bench didn't really keep him in one spot. So we used this really old uh, tinnen bucket uh, without water, just uh, with the blue backdrop, chunky knitted sweaters, favorite. This one, I want to have it in my size. It's so adorable. Uh, probably not as adorable on me as it was on him, but I'll live with that. Uh, 
when a baby is so active that he wants to crawl away, a basket can help because he's sitting in something. They usually like to explore, uh, feel the, the structures. This one is always a hit. I don't know where I got it, uh, but they can move the handles. I think you like a, a garden center or something. And then of course the bamboo bed, great. Uh, but actually the crawling towards you is so cute that I love it when a baby is already crawling and active and see what he likes. In this case, the baby really liked uh, these weights. So I could just like hold this in front of him, place it on the floor before me, and then he would like crawl towards me because he wants to grab this one. I didn't let him grab it because of course it weighs half a kilo. If he lifts it up and drops it on his finger, it might hurt. So yeah, I would just like hold it in front of him and then like lift it up as he was almost there. So he would look up at the camera as well. But if you have a little toy, something that the baby likes, just use it in your advantage to get those super adorable photos of babies crawling towards you. So uh, of course we did like a little Christmas photo and um, yeah, fun. So it's time to edit and order the album. We'll first preview, then the gallery, then the album. Um, and they're gonna come back for a case mess session, which is great. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Love reading your comments.